What's going on everybody, Merm here, and today I got a cool Dragon Age video for you guys. And I just want to preface this video by saying that I'm loving this game so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's a game of the year contender for me. But I just needed to talk about something in, in this video. And that's a few things that have been annoying me young, um, in Dragon I Age so far. Because, I mean, I've, I've, like I said, I've really been enjoying this game. But there have been a few things that have been just kind of irking me. That I don't know why they decided it'd be a good decision to do some of this stuff. And uh, I just felt the need to talk about it. So, as you can see, this is my mage character. Uh, kind of a beast. I really like him. Uh, I think it was a good choice. But I kind of like... I want to play as every character in this game. That's how much I'm enjoying it. Like, I want to restart and play as a warrior. And then play as a, an archer. Because, you know, pretty much with all these types of role-playing games, I pretty much always choose an archer to start off. And I don't think I ever choose the warrior ever. And this is one of the few games where I'll, I, uh, I start off as a mage, um, just because I want to try something different, and it looked cool. And, I, you know, in Mass Effect, I was always a biotic character, uh, instead of a sneaky character. And as, in this game, you know, I was like, well, you know, they do so well with these, like, magical powers in Mass Effect, so I don't see why they wouldn't do a good job in here. And, of course, they do. These powers are fucking cool. These spells are amazing, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've just been having a lot of fun with this game, but there are a few problems with the mage class specifically. I'm not sure if there are any of the other classes, but basically, I'm about three-fourths of the way through the game, I think. Maybe two-thirds, something like that. Um, and, uh, as you can see, you start off with a few abilities in the mage. Spirit, Storm, Inferno, and Winter. But then, at about at where I am through the game, when you're about level 10, you, you can get a specialization. And, uh, you can get, I think it's Rift, Knight Enchanter, and uh, Necromancer. And I chose Rift Mage. But to choose it, you basically go talk to someone. They give you a quest. And you have to go do this quest. And uh, here, I'll show you. It's right up here. If you're going up here. Uh, wait, I don't actually have them anymore because I chose it. But it'll be like Way of the Necromancer, Way of the Knight Enchanter, Way of the Rift Mage. Well, these quests are horrible. These are some of the worst quests in the game, in, in, in games that I've played in a long time. They don't tell you where to go. I mean, they do. They Basically, with most of the quests in this game, they have that little thing at the bottom left corner uh, with that little eye-looking thing, and that'll tell you where to go. And that's where I'm heading right now. But with these quests, they just they, they say it in the journal, like, go here, but they don't show you where that is. Like, it said, like, go to Geraldahan Nain's, you know... Air Grove and you know find it and it's like well where the fuck is that and then you know I read it again and I found okay it's in the exalted plains somewhere so I went there but it doesn't really tell you anything because I go to the exalted plains and there's still no like map marker so I'm just like okay so I search around the exalted plains for like an hour and finally find like where one of these fucking things is located and I just like glitch myself here what the fuck what is love right now anyway all right, let's call him my magic spell. As you, that's such a cool thing. Anyway, so I go to the Exalted Plane, searching for an hour. I finally find one of the locations that I have to go to, one out of three. And so I search around that location. I'm like, and I'm killing guys. I'm looking for like the, the book that I have to find to be able to become a Rift Mage. And I can't find it, so I'm searching on the internet, and there, you know, the game just came out a, a little while ago, so, you know, not that many people have gotten to this point, and uh, those who have, not all of them post on the internet, so I'm, like, finding it, and uh, I finally found one post where everyone was confused except for one person He posted a video of how to find them all. Basically, you had to go to each point in this location, he showed you where they were, and you had to kill enemies until they dropped it. And I was like, okay, and uh, it was just, like, a big ordeal that didn't have to happen. And it kind of sucks because, like, they explain nothing, and then you had to go find these, uh, ring velvets, which weren't too hard to find, but, uh, uh, you know, it's just a pain in the ass. I think the quest was made terribly, and then there's a main mission quest that I'm on right now, which is annoying because it basically takes all the choice of the mission away from you. I'm not going to go into detail because it could be a spoiler for those who haven't played the game up to this point. Uh, but it basically takes all the, all the points away from you, all the uh, decision-making and choices that you can make, and... Basically, if you don't say the right things or do the right things, then you can fail the mission and you have to start the whole thing over. And I just think that's dumb because this whole game, you know, the whole series is based upon the decisions that you make 
you know, affecting the world. And my character's kind of like an asshole guy in this game. And uh, I can't be an asshole or else I get literally, you get kicked out of the mission if you don't do the right things. You know, so I think that that kind of that kind of sucks. You know, I don't think that's how this game is meant to be played, and I think they kind of screwed up. I think they screwed the pooch on that one. You know, I uh, just sucks. Uh, and that's you know, I've been like I said, I've been loving this game. I want to play as all of the characters, and I've I'm in. Mean, I've been playing this game for 30 hours, maybe. I've been playing a shit ton of this game, but it just sucks that. The, this one mission, they take all of the uh, all the choice away from you, and these specialization quests seem to suck. Cause I saw someone else talking about the uh, specialization for the uh, for the rogue, which is like the archer character, and the archer like assassin type of character, and he said that it is also not great, and it's also a little confusing and a little hard to learn what you're doing. But I mean, I've been really liking this game so far. Like I said, um, it's just there's a few problems in here. And I want to get to killing some dragons, and I can't find the goddamn dragons. So, anyway, so this has been Merm. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are also playing this game and loving it, because it is honestly probably my game of the year so far. And I've just been loving this fucking game, and I really want to go play through the rest of this game.